Dirty truck and dirty truck, and it's 11.04 here in Detroit. Wow, the problems and issues that just happens to me living here in the city of Detroit, state of Michigan, just don't stop. I can't make this shit up to save my life. I can't make these problems up. I can't invent or I can't invent in my mind. These situations that I've been going through. There's no way in the hell I can make this shit up. Got too much detail. Too much information. I wouldn't. Why would I put myself through this? I'm 53. With no income. Got a job. Can't get a rental car. Because of what Hertz did. Had to run a car. Had to turn it in. Because of what Hertz did. I'm sitting here sitting duck. Wanted me to pay a bill that they knew I didn't owe. That they created an invoice to make it look like I owed. That's their mistake. They didn't have to put me on a do not rent list. What you were supposed to do was notify me of the bill. But they didn't. And I'm noticing in their conversations with me signs that they're on my social media listening to what I say to try to find something they can use to cover up what they have done. I hear it in their conversations when I'm talking to them on the phone. Stuff that I recently mentioned in my damn videos. Customer service reps mentioned to me. I'm sitting here sitting duck. I don't have no income. This month is almost over. I'm paid up till the end of the month. I don't have the rent for next month. I don't have any income coming in. I got about $70 in my purse. All the cash I got on me. Chase bank account. There's an issue with it just popped up. Another one dealing with hurts. Billing me an amount I don't recognize. Just popped up in the account. Hertz was constantly doing that shit. You would pay them for your rental. Then all of a sudden the shit popped back up in your account. And then it'll just stay there and stay there. And stay there. And stay there. Then all of a sudden. Sometimes it may be that week. It, it, it's, it's like they were playing a game. One minute they'll get the money right back. Next minute they'll leave it sit there. Maybe a week. Two weeks. I just had pop some pop up in my account. They claim as a transaction from April 4th. But the amount is 356 dollars. 91 355 dollars of something like that, 91 cents. It's popped up in my account. My accounts are overdrawn. Because of hurts. And they did this, this, this weird billing shit that started right after Thanksgiving when they gave me that glitch story. Hertz, I used to make my payments on Monday and they used to post in my bank by Tuesday. When I switched my form of payment to Chase Bank, Hertz would get the money Because now my contract has changed to Tuesday. They were getting the billing on Tuesday. Or whenever I called the extension department to pay it. It would, pull, it would pull out the account. And I noticed it'd be a certain week. That would just pop back up in the account. All of the weeks didn't do that. And I've been monitoring that. 
Some of the weeks will pop up. Some don't. A week will pop back up in your account. After they didn't pull it, now I done paid them. But somehow the amount pops back up in their account. On the bank ledger. It shows they subtracted out the account. And then it pops right back up in the account after you paid it. A couple days later. And it'll sit there and sit there and sit there. It's just like, uh, and I can't pinpoint the week that'll do that. I don't know if this is the week of the beginning of the month. It's one week that it would do that and it just stay there for weeks. Weeks. And then all of a sudden... The amount is gone out your account. So I got a transaction from, it's dated April 4th, uh, for an amount that I know I didn't pay on April 4th, that just come out of my account. See, they are doing something that's illegal with their authorization. My account is closed now. If you pull an amount from that week out of my account. It should be for that amount of that week out of my account. If you got charges for another week that needs to come out the account, then you need to have a different invoice for those charges that need to come out of my account. Hertz is doing a lot of pulling money out of my account all willy-nilly and making it look like it's for that week. With what you have done is illegal. That's not the amount you pulling for that week. Well, where, where'd you get this balance from? Get an email from them talking about uh, our old. Uh, no, I told them to look into the matter of the three sixty seven fifty five. I get an email from them telling me that uh, the the balance was correct, but they had a balance of I think it said three fifty five ninety one or something like that. Said it was for uh, 18 weeks of having a car under that contract. That's the email I just got. And tell me why that exact amount just pulled out of my Chase bank account. And you you telling me in an email this is for the, the week of the account that it was closed. That you told me I owed one forty fifty two. But now you, you, you pull that exact amount out of my account. What the fuck going on here? These people don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm telling you, I can't make this shit up to save my life. I can't. And if I could post my Chase Bank, I will. Oh, let me tell you what happened when I went to pull some money out of my um my other account. I used the outside ATM uh with my uh bank. Use the outside ATM. Now, nobody charges what this bank charged me. I Go on my bank. Now, mind you, my stories is my accounts are in the negative because I have no income. And I'm not going to stand here and lie about it. My accounts are, in, well, one is in the negative. One uh, just got out of the negative. But I, 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 my accounts is, is going to be overdrawn. Because I got no money coming in. And I'm not going to lie about that. I'm sitting up here with no money coming in because of Hertz. And that bullshit they did with that billing. Now, I got an amount posted to my account that was not the amount that was supposed to be for that week. And it pulled out my account. And it don't go along, but it goes along with the email that I sent to have them investigate the 367.55 Prior to them even giving me the invoice about the 367.55. Now, Hertz has given me the money back for the toll that they took for the 367.55. That's how one of my accounts managed to get out the negative. But my Chase Bank, which I had used to start as the form of payment, is in the negative. I woke up this morning to a negative. Three hundred and something dollars. I don't recognize the charge. My weekly rental was two eighty five, 
And I know exactly how much should have came out of my account. But this is what they do. Hurt seems to be under the impression that they can bill you for future weeks and make it look like it's for a prior week. When you need to be creating separate invoices for this billing that you're doing. How did you pull out over 350? How did you send me an email with 355.91 and then turn around, tell me it's for the week that you said I owed the 140, but you said it's, it's during for that time frame. But now you just pulled that out my Chase bank account. I know exactly how much I owe. And didn't know. Let me tell you what you're doing. They're getting an additional day charge by lying to me. Now, Hertz got it on the fifth by telling me that there was no way that they could update my form of payment without coming in and closing out the contract, which sounds like utter nonsense. Why would you need to close the account? They told me because we got, uh, I think at the time that happened, we got 3,800 blah, 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 blah on hold until you turn in the account. See, and they, they kept saying that when they was closing out the account. You got to have 3,000 blah, blah, blah in your account. I said, I didn't have 3,000 when I rent the damn car. You got to have 3,000 blah, blah, blah in your account. Because that's what we have on hold for the weeks that you've had the car. Okay, I don't understand why they keep telling me that. Talking about that's what we have on hold. You don't have it on hold if you've debited my account. Now, you may have it on hold on your end stacked up. They talked at me as if. My bank is secretly storing three hundred and three thousand eight hundred some dollars at the time. That's what I think I it said I had uh, paid up until December fifth, from August to December fifth. I had to rent it that car the way I done paid three thousand eight hundred and eighty something dollars. I believe it said. Hertz, talk at me as if my bank has. Three thousand eight hundred and some dollars on hold until I turn the car in. When they don't, it's telling me I have to have this amount in my account because this is what they got on hold. You've already received that money when you debited my account. Now this is what you have on hold on Hertz in on your computer, but far as my bank, when it say post it. You've received that money and it's been subtracted from my account. You don't have no 3,880 nothing dollars on hold waiting for my bank to pay out. When it says posted, that means it's posted and you've received payment. But this is what hurts tell me every time I call to inquire about my account. That we have blah, 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 blah on hold. Because I think when I turned the car in, I done paid $5,191 from renting that car from August until the time I turned that car in. But let me tell you what they're doing. How they're getting an additional day out of me. Okay, now they got it on the 5th by telling me that there was no way for them to update my form of payment without closing that account out. Which made absolutely no sense at all. Seems to me when you when I updated if I could have updated the phone form of payment online or over the phone, that means all the payments that you collected that you had on hold on Hertz end, not my bank, would have paid out. And you should have just updated my card on the computer. I've never heard of nothing like this. But this is what they're telling me. They always mention about how much they got on hold. You don't have it on hold in my bank. You, you already collected the money from my bank. When it says post it, you've already got that money. 
So why do they keep mentioning that? I don't know. That's one of the other things they were saying. But you got an additional day out of me on the 5th because I tried to update my form of payment. And you told me I had to close out the account, which meant I had to come up there, which caused this fiasco in the first place. What they're doing is telling stuff to me. And now you're telling me stuff that's getting you additional money out of me. That was $65 just to come up there to put my card on your account, which you should have been able to do over the phone, or I should have been able to do my damn self updating on your website. But I can't seem to find my account. Now, it looks like they may have charged me for another day of turning this car in, pulling money out of my account, and charged it to a previous week when they were supposed to not charge it to that week, you need to make your charges for the week that they are charged to. You can't be pulling money out of people's account for future weeks and laying it under that week. You are, I guess you would call it, I don't know, what they call this backdating charges is what you're doing. You're getting a charge from a previous week, and then you're also getting a charge from an additional week instead of getting a charge for that week. They're doing a lot of strange-ass billing shit here. So now I'm going to have to have them, and I'm not even going to say it in the video because I don't want them to get prepared for what I'm about to have to have them do. But when they told me, when they extended my rental the week of the third, that I was not going to have a problem extending my rental. I told you, I paid my rent. I got my rent paid. Matter of fact, it was that Tuesday, the 9th. The very next day, they pulled this rental shit. Now, Tuesday is my original billing date for the rental. But yet, they were still trying to pull the money on Monday. Wasn't in there. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So, I'm operating off of what they told me last week. The woman said, you're not on a do not rent list. And you shouldn't have any problems going. I wasn't going to have any problems. She said, I wasn't on a do not rent list. And she extended my rental. So now, if somebody tells me I'm not on a do not rent list, I'm going to function like I'm not on a do not rent list. Okay, I just whopped out all this money to pay for my rent. Okay, I can't pay for the rental on Tuesday. I'm just paying for it Wednesday. I'm operating off of what they've been telling me. Wednesday, I called to extend my rental. I'm told I'm on the do not rent list again. I said, the lady, I said, don't your records show me talking to a representative and she's saying I'm not on the do not rent list? I said, you got to call the do not rent list. That's all they said. I called the do not rent list. It's still about the 14042 bill. This is what they've been doing to me. These are foreign operators. Chase Bank, even here at this apartment building, they are all foreign. And I don't like people fucking with me just because you have access to my accounts to be fucking with me. When my journal got switched and I started communicating with Amazon Kindle, the emails I got from them, the names were foreign. Looked like uh, maybe from India, from the, the names on there. All I'm ready, ready to tell me that you must be mistaken. You must have thought, I ain't thought shit. My, this journal here arrived here in color. The interior pages were in color. I'm positive. I'm 100% positive. They came in this apartment and switched it with this. But everybody, when I'm having all these issues, I communicate with is foreign. If I got to get in contact with the leasing office here, I got to go through a foreign operator. 
if they don't pick up the phone directly. My bank accounts is foreign operators. I just told you in the last video what happened calling Chase, get a foreign operator. I requested it because I already know my issues are arising speaking to these foreign customer service reps. I want American speaking customer service rep. They transfer me to another foreign operator. I hang up, get another foreign operator. She puts me on a hold, acting like she's going to get an American-speaking operator. And then she plays the muse, the, the, the info, what you call them, infomercials while you're waiting on hold. It's playing in Spanish now. Lady, what the fuck are you doing? It's these foreign operators that has been fucking with me. And I want to know what the fuck are they doing? Fucking with me. Why are you hired on these jobs to answer the phone when I call and they've been fucking with me? I put in for something that was potentially could lead to a job. They had to run a background check. Now, my background check at this place had already been ran. They telling me I need to run a background check. Okay, I'm going to entertain this. It has been some time in between. Maybe you need to update. So this was last week when I spoke to him. I called Monday. They didn't run the background check last week when I spoke to him. Talking about I need to run the background check. They didn't decide to run it until yesterday. Giving me a message that it could take up to two to three weeks for your background check to complete. No, it don't. Because they got the, the search court records and all this. That's letting me know you looking for something specific. What you, what, 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 ain't nothing wrong with my damn driver's license. Fuck you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you waiting on something to pop up on my record that wasn't there? That's why you keep telling me this shit? So they run the background. And it completed that day. Said that business that I contacted would have the information available on the 23rd, which is today. I contact that business. They're talking at me as if it's still being processed. Now, I screenshotted the information, sent them the email showing it passed. I'm green-lighted. They telling me that that we, the, 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 we that's a different we got to do a different background check, a different background check. So this representative that's talking to me through chat, who I know it's for, because that's all that's answering. Initiate another background check today. Same message come up. Take two to three weeks. Blah 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 blah. I asked him why are you. Reinitiating another background check. What are you looking for? I said, I know the procedures on the background check, and it don't take as long as this message is saying. I mean, information and technology is AI now. It don't take that long. Trust me. I already know. Now, I didn't say all that to him in the message, but I don't know. I've gone through background checks all my life. It don't take that long. You can get all that in a matter of seconds. So, they done... Initiate the background check. So I go on the website. They told me to check on the status. I see it's initiated. It got the date available of the 24th, which is tomorrow. You initiated the same exact background check. This is, this is what happens when I'm talking to these folks. They are stalling. And they're doing it deliberate. They know next week is the first and they're keeping me without income and a job deliberate by stalling. I could have been to work because my background check had already been ran with this business. I could have been to work, but this is what happens when you talking to these foreign operators, when I talk to them and I'm not the only one complaining about the issues they're having. Talking with these foreign operators. They don't know what they're doing. Or otherwise, in my case, they do know what they're doing. They are deliberately stalling to get me evicted. They know I don't have, they want to make sure that I don't get any income coming in. That this low, this apartment building, 
files a court case to have me evicted. That's exactly what they're doing. And they're doing it deliberate. There's no reason that business should have been running another background check. And I just got an email again today already. The background has been completed. Just like it was yesterday. But talking with them through chat. They telling me it's showing still process on the end. The same shit they were telling me at Hertz. On our computer it shows when they were telling me about the different emails. Well our computer shows. Your computer shows this when I'm talking to you. But, and then I had on speakerphone when she told me that. And I'm standing in the location. Told me my email was 0036. No, it wasn't. That's not the email. My email is on file. Ever since I've been renting a goddamn car. How is it that every time I talk to these phone operators, you telling me this story about what your computer is showing? And I can hear the smirk in their voice. These people are lying to me. And these people have been fucking with me. And they've been hired on these jobs to do this shit to me. I'm tired of these people fucking with me. Why are these people messing with me and sending me there deliberate to get evicted? I ain't got no money. I ain't got no food in my goddamn fridge. And these motherfuckers is deliberately doing this shit to me.